allows them to raise your electric bill to anything they want. I think solar is great, but I think it should be a choice and capitalism and individual companies should invest in it rather than on such a huge scale we be forced to pay 20 times more, especially when the entire Southwest is loaded with coal and we are developing ways to burn clean coal energy. Okay, so the question was about Measure B. Uh, measure B, the solar proposition, for lack of a better phrase, is organized crime. Uh, Antonio Villaraigosa and the city are asking you to fork out several thousand dollars out of your own pocket to pay for this very risky venture. Uh, I want to disagree with some of the other candidates up here. He says, we're all in favor of solar power, well, not me. I'm a conservative. I, if, if it works financially, I'll be for it. But if we can't find a way to make it work financially, no, forget it. I don't care if we never have solar power. Uh, the uh, person, I went to a uh, neighborhood council in Hollywood, and a guy named Ron Kay, who used to be the editor of the Daily News, he gave one of the most passionate speeches about it I've ever seen. And he talked about how this is the city deciding on their own that uh, he compared it to the, uh, the lunar landing. He said, this is the city trying to go to the moon when they don't even know how to build a bicycle. They can't even balance the budget, but now they want three and a half billion dollars more. And I said, absolutely not. Everyone tell your friends, no on me. Um, just, uh, I mean, I know I'd rather breathe clean air first of all than just make sure it's financially viable. But uh, the reason I'm against Measure B is because that money shouldn't be coming out of our pockets. Uh, if anything, we should uh, fund commissions, for example, that could study the effects of big polluters. And if they are polluting too much, uh, and I mean far more than what we've already done, because we have not done enough, if they are polluting so much, then they should be fined for it. They, and these fines should grow, and we should really enforce them, because they're not being enforced. And uh, they should be taxed as well. The big polluters are the ones that are responsible for our, our, the degradation of our environment. And that's very important for all of us. So. All right, the next question is for you. Uh, the Ethics Commission is studying public financing for offices for the city of Los Angeles. Uh, are you in favor of that? And how would it affect your campaign? Um, I'm quite sure what you mean. Public financing uh, for campaigns. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, well, I mean, the, I mean, this digs into a fundamental problem with, with campaigns in general. The fact is that most of us are not going to win because we don't have enough money to run the kind of campaign that Antonio Villaraigosa has. So only the wealthiest really are able to run a good, uh, effective campaign under capitalism in the U.S. That's a sham of democracy. Democracy should be for anyone that is able uh, and willing to run. It's up to the voter, is it not? You're the one that's going to hear what we have to say and you're going to agree with it or not. And so everyone should have the equal right and opportunity to be able to run for public office. But that shouldn't come from the pockets uh, or the tax dollars from uh, public finance. Any comments? Yes, I, I, uh, I can tell you what a nightmare it is to raise money. I've raised over $200,000 from working people, people. I got a check today for $8 from a man, bless his heart. It probably took him over an hour to raise it. It's honest money. It is very hard to raise money honestly when you have a mayor who goes to big developers located in Illinois, Texas, Florida, and has a cocktail party where people write out $1,000 checks the way you and I would put 50 cents in that vending machine over there. As long as we let the rich control the game, we're going to have more interchangeable viragosis. So what's the solution? Solution in part, in my opinion, is we as citizens, we just have to get active. We have to start running for office, and I urge people in my audiences to run, and I got David Berger uh, running for city attorney, Susie Evans running for city controller, Craig Wilson running for CD11. So you have to run and you have to get behind these people. Public financing, I would not support because to me it's more of a perpetuation of this same thing where money is given to the media after you run through a gauntlet to raise it. What I would like to see is take that same money and run general public service announcements saying to everyone in the city, hey, an election's coming up and we don't need American Idol. Find out about all the candidates, not just those enough, lucky enough to raise $3 million or those who have spent every night and weekend. Dave and I both started campaign committees back in March of 2007. 
and uh, it is very hard to get people to entrust you with money. I mean, once you get so, what I'd like to do is have the City Ethics Commission do general advertising to send all voters to a website where you can see each of our websites easily and compare because in the 21st century with this video technology and everything there should be no unanswered question about each candidate and I think the internet can be a great leveler so that you're picking a candidate based on his uh, credentials experience and platform and not how much money he got from special interests. Any other comments? Uh, yeah, I just want to say I, I don't agree with uh, public financing. I think that anything that's limiting and stops people from you know expressing themselves is not good. Uh, this all goes with the uh, McCain-Feingold stuff about you know limiting contributions to a thousand dollars. I'll explain to you why it's bad. Think about this. Any one of the candidates up here, if we could walk around, I told you, I'm in entertainment. If I could walk around a Paramount or a 20th Century Fox, find someone who's working on a TV show who really hated me or Nosa and say, yeah, man, I'll write you a check for 50 grand. Via Ghost would be in big trouble right now. So, but these limits don't work. So that's my comment. John? Yeah, and this is re related to the campaign finance because there definitely needs to be reform. Regardless of whatever your position is on a particular issue, your contribution is your First Amendment right. The U.S. Supreme Court has already held up that a political contribution is free speech. Where we have a problem is with individual special interest groups who go to the campaign finance reports and they target individual contributors, regardless of the size, if it's over $100, to intimidate you against your right to free speech. So if there is going to be some reform with regards to campaign finance, it needs to be that your First Amendment rights are protected, regardless of the issue. Anyone else? Yeah, I'd like to step in here. Uh, first of all, the city had, it's been now two, two and a half years, was going to have a clean measure, clean, clean money measure that it was going to, it was going to uh, rule on that was if you collected five dollars from 500 people then that would enable you to get public financing that was just before they were uh, the, the measure came out to uh, allow for three terms which the public uh, voted for uh, once that passed and they were self uh, saving their third term uh, the, the uh, clean money uh, public financing thing became uh, shelved so you know, I'm going to put it right out here. First of all, Walter Moore has collected the most money out of anybody. Last time, he was not interested in collecting money, and he put out some of his own money. Uh, the reasons the last time that he said was, I'm not collecting any money because I don't want to be tainted. I'm not going to collect money, I'll use my own, and I'll get my word out. Now he's gone relentlessly on the radio, asking people for money on a weekly basis on radio stations. A lot of people know about him, and I'm sure all of you do. And there's something, there's something to be said about the hard work behind that. And there's no question about it. But, there is a but. What comes with that money? What is coming with the money? And when we go to a higher level, with our mayor, where, as Moore said, it's around the country, what is connected with that money? What's connected with the money that's being dispersed globally? What's happening with that money? What connections go with that? I pretty much decided I wasn't going to collect the money. I figured that we would have a public forum as we have now, that I would get my word out enough to the people and I would make my voice heard. What's astonishing is that the city of Los Angeles, the second largest city in the nation, has been shut this process down. And that is alarm for all of you. And unless you do something about it, in the words of John F. Kennedy in Profiles and Courage, the last page of the book, you can only expect, good or bad, the government that you deserve. Thank you. I just have to go ahead. Uh, I, we, have, we do have public financing. You can get matching funds currently. Uh, I turned that down and had decided I don't want public financing. I, I'm not for public financing. I think we live in the largest media capital of the world. We should be able to talk at least one station into running a quick forum like this on television so that the voters in the city of Los Angeles would have the opportunity to see us. But again, you know, that's up to the stations, and I think we need to talk them into that, and it's still a good idea. Yeah. One, one last word on mansion funds. Just so you know, for the first time in his life, Antonio Viragosa turned down matching funds this election. You know why? 
because matching funds come with one string and one string only. You have to debate anyone else who's qualified for matching funds. There's one person who's qualified for matching funds. He chose to leave 700 grand on the table rather than spend 60 minutes debating me so you could have a fair comparison of our policies. Wait a minute, I'd like to say there isn't anything in the city's charter that says that you have to debate the person who res other anybody else who receives matching funds. I'd like to hear that. Yeah, okay. All, All right, right. Thank, you. thank you very much.